Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at some of these world's smallest Hot Wheels cars. And I was able to pick these up recently at my local Big Lots store. Uh, they came to $5 each. And I really like the look of them. And uh, I'd never seen them before at any retail store. So uh, I thought I'd go ahead and purchase these because I don't know if I'll ever see them again, to be quite honest. So uh, I'm going to show you each of these. There's three different ones here. And uh, in terms of uh, miniaturization, uh, basically, I'd call this a, like a one one third scale depiction of a Hot Wheels car, and I can show you side by side uh, what that looks like. So here I have my uh, regular size Hot Wheels uh, Batmobile, and as you can see, it's about you know a third of the length of that car. So uh, I'm guessing that's that's roughly the scale that these are being depicted in. And in terms of the card back, uh, it appears to be um, sort of a depiction of the vintage style uh, Hot Wheels cars, uh, the way that they were released in the uh, late 60s, early 70s. Um, I don't have uh, an example of a carded Hot Wheels car to compare to, but I have seen pictures online of what the vintage packaging looked like, and it does look uh, very much like this. So, uh, and as you can see, this is the, the green car, Formula Street, 2011. So I'm guessing the 2011 date was the release date for this original car. So very cool looking. And uh, on the back of the package, you can see, uh, I assume uh, this is pretty much uh, what a vintage card back would look like uh, on the back, but I'm not really too sure. As you can see, this is done in plastic and this seems to be adhered as a sticker. And uh, there's also what appears to be a way to sort of extract the car out of the back of the package. Uh, I'd love to be able to take these out of the out of the package, uh, but the way this clamshell is adhered together along the edges, it doesn't appear that you can actually take them out without kind of destroying the outer packaging. So at least for now, uh, this is gonna be an in-package review of these. Uh, but I think they look great in this package. The outer packaging is actually very stylish. And um, so uh, yeah, it's gonna stay in the package for now. And then on the back, uh, you can see, collect them all. And then pictured on the back here are a bunch of different cars. And, um, you know, when I was there at the store, they didn't have any of these. So I'm guessing maybe these cars were released in another series. Um, but I can't be sure. Um, I'm not really, I haven't really kept up with this. Uh, it does say Series 6 on here. So uh, it's possible um, they had released uh, those other cars in some other series. And um, this is among... Um, a series of things that Super Impulse uh, had done. You can see uh, that's the company that's credited on the bottom of the package for the creation of these. And uh, they had done, I, do, I know they have like the world's smallest GI Joe, and I believe they did the world's smallest Barbie as well. So I don't know the full extent of, you know, how many different things they've done in this miniaturized form. But, uh, you know, I'd only seen these, uh, you know, this one time at my local store, so I decided to go ahead and pick them up just because I don't I don't know if I'll ever see these things again. So, uh, and as you can see, this one is called Mid Mill 2009, and it's sort of a black and blue car with some chrome highlights. So that's really cool looking. Packaging on the back is, is the same as the others. And uh, last but not least, we have the Great Gatsby 2015 car. And as you can see, it has an open top, so you can see down inside uh, they got detailing of the interior of the car as well. So that's pretty cool. It's really amazing how much detail they were able to get, you know, miniaturizing this thing down this small. And in terms of the, the wheel detail, uh, most of them, uh, you know, just have standard, you know, Hot Wheels detailing. But uh, this one, this green one over here actually has the red ring around the wheel. That's really cool. Uh, this is the only one that has that particular detail on it. So I like that. Uh, that really reminds me very much of some of the Hot Wheels that I had when I was growing up. Uh, had that red ring around the tires. So that's really cool that they included that detail. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see reviews of more Hot Wheels cars in the future, think about subscribing to the channel because I will be covering more of this in future videos. Until next time, I hope you're having a great day and thanks for watching.